56-55 to the winner by split decision from the United Kingdom. <laughs> There's also been some talk about a third fight. Um Yeah. I like to live in a moment like Cody. Runs with the forges, I need me a loj. I'm number one and I can't be below that. My wrist on zero degrees, yeah, I froze it. My diamonds yellow, remind me of Bode. These dead presidents and they came with a toe tape. See, I made me a name, can't nobody control it. What's good, guys? Um... If you were able to catch the stream, uh, first off, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that joined the stream. We got 600 live viewers. You feel me? That was my first ever stream ever. So uh, that was pretty big for me to stream. If you're a new subscriber, uh, just stick around, bro. I make some good content and watch some of my older videos, maybe my last one. I'm sure you'll be hooked onto my content because I make bangers only. But let's talk about this fight. This fight has probably been uh, the most captivating thing in the year. Um, since the last fight, I have been glued to this fight because it changed so much for me. I became a boxing fan and a huge fan of Logan Paul's. Logan um, fighting for his career and his name in the public eye throughout this year. And I found that really inspirational. But that's besides the point of the fact that I think that the fight was a draw. And with something that you have so much anticipation for over the course of a year, for it to be another draw, it, it hurt in a way that I didn't wanna believe it. Like I literally, I literally didn't wanna like, how I imagined the night would go at all, in the slightest, I hoped it would be a one-sided fight, whether it be KSI knocking him out or Logan dominating all six rounds. It didn't matter to me. I just wanted a, a clear winner. And it's safe to say, I don't care what you say. If you say otherwise, you're either a huge Logan fan or a huge KSI fan. The fight was a draw and we still don't have a clear winner and we would maybe never know who is actually the winner of this fight. While I do like, I like how he pushed the, pushed the aggression, he pushed the fight, um, he pressed the fight onto Logan, um, and I did see sparks of Sean Porter in there with him uh, in his style. I don't believe that he's a naturally good boxer. He just lacks that natural talent for him to be able to do something with that aggression and that uh, stamina that he has. Um, I feel like if you were a KSI fan, then you might agree with the decision, but either way, if Logan did not get two points deducted, then it would not have been KSI's win. So if you wanna look at it on paper, KSI won, how much does it really count? You feel me? Logan, Logan really just, Logan really lost the fight, bro. He really, really lost the fight um, in the sense that I feel like he could have done so much more. I feel like he had so much more to offer than what he showed us. Um, and then also, he literally did nothing almost that he said he would. He said that he would dominate the fight and he was just a much clearly better boxer than JJ that it wouldn't have been a fight but he once again allowed JJ to be the aggressor and be all over him and KSI throwing those windmills bruh he he got some punches in and he made the fight close once again uh, Logan wasn't able to capitalize on whatever he learned uh, I really feel like if he would have used more of his advantages like he did in the first fight, um, you, that being his reach and his naturally better boxing skills, uh, just to let his hands go, I feel like it was Logan's fight to win. Um, 
obviously in the third round we see uh, one of those uppercuts that knocked JJ down was actually illegal because he held him like this and you can't <laughs> you just can't do that but the first one um, did rock him so if if things played out differently we could have had a very different outcome to say the least uh, but at the end of the day the fight was a draw if you say otherwise then you are biased i'm sorry not sorry um but ksi is a dog like he said ksi is a dog he's a big fighter bro he's a big fighter um and he really did do what uh, he completed his arc his his story was that he wanted to prove that he can do whatever he sets his mind to and he did that you can't say otherwise that he did that ksi proved once again that he can do whatever he sets his mind to and much respect to him for completing his uh his journey in that aspect now logan's story to the anime would have been uh his redemption arc for uh coming back from what he did in japan and just earning the respect back in the public eye um he literally decided to fight for it and I really would have liked to see um, just that capped off finish of him uh, overcoming that and getting the win but uh, it seems like uh, Logan's taking it pretty well he just went live on Instagram he looks fine um, he's got respect for JJ which he should um, both of them should have respect for each other but the thing that's gonna bother me is if JJ acts like he beat the shit out of Logan, which he definitely will, but most should know that that wasn't the case. KSI did not convincingly win the fight, and neither did Logan. Logan did not convincingly win that fight. It was another draw. Um, sad to hear. Um, I really would have liked to see what, what could have happened if, if this didn't happen or this did happen, but... What happened, happened, and there's no changing it. So, bottom line, uh, last two things I want to say. Yeah, I really just, I don't want to see any more of uh, Shannon Briggs in the spotlight. He doesn't deserve it. He's been chasing clout and fame uh, to this level for a very long time. And whatever, he got it. He hit some random people on the street. After this, I don't want to see any more Shannon Briggs, bro. I'm done with that. I don't want to hear Let's Go Champ. Ever again in my life. I don't want to hear it anymore. Please stop watching his content. Y'all are just feeding his career. I don't know how people are not talking about this. No one is talking about this. But it was in, in, in a, the, an interview the night before. Eddie Hearn out of himself as literally just being in this for the money. I may drop a video on it after this one. I don't know yet. It depends on how this video does probably. <laughs> There's also been some talk about a third fight. Um, originally, I did not even consider a third fight just because of the way that JJ um, wrote it off so blatantly with how he said uh, it's over. But if you rewatch the fight, you just see a draw that's no nothing else you can see no matter how you spin it like even if you don't want to call it a draw you cannot say that ksi convincingly won that fight like he said he would or that logan convincingly lost the fight or won the fight like he said he would um so i think there could be a third fight just because of that alone so yeah there there could be a third fight, which is fucking ridiculous. But if there is, I'm there, bro. I'm there, bro. If there is a third fight, I'm there. I'm having another stream, and we're going to get the definitive answer off with is that I'm very happy to have lived in this generation. This has never happened before and is a very unlikely thing to happen. Um, this event... Uh, Shout out to Joe Weller for starting all of this. Uh, this has been one of the most entertaining things in all of internet history. No matter how you spin it, that is the truth. And I think that it has been, it's been a really 
cool experience just watching and being so invested in something like this um and it for it to be the first time ever happening no one would have ever imagined this five years ago so it's it's it was crazy it was a crazy ride um if this is the end it was a very bitter a very bitter end to it because there is no definitive winner but if there's a third fight um while I feel like it's played out a little bit by then, um, if it can happen quickly, I'm all for it. Uh, I think we deserve the true winner of this fight because if not, it's just going to be a debate for the rest of eternity. Um, thank you for uh, checking out the channel. If you're new, if you're new to the channel right now, subscribe button. Diamonds on my wrist froze. You can't be no friend of mine. You can't be no friend of me. Everything I'm wearing mine. Thousand on my fucking feet. It ain't wanna see me die, but I'm always packing.